Welcome to another lesson in the TI30X Plus Math Print Student course. This lesson is a nuanced analysis into the order of operations as they apply to algebraic representation and scientific notation. Let's start with a simple example 6x cubed divided by 2x squared. The TI30X Plus Math Print calculator is not algebraic, so it can't simplify this expression. But we can substitute numbers and explore. So we'll start by storing 2 in x. Now enter the expression 6x cubed divided by 2x squared. So how does the calculator arrive at the answer of 96? The order of operation requires exponents to be computed first followed by multiplication and division, working from left to right. 6 eighths are 48, divided by 2, multiplied by 4, and we arrive at our answer of 96. We get the same answer from 3x to the power of 5. 3x to the power of 5 is an algebraic simplification of 6x cubed divided by 2x squared, because this is different from 6x cubed over 2x squared, as this expression simplifies to 3x. The vinculum literally divides the expression into two parts, the numerator divided by the denominator. The vinculum effectively puts parentheses around the 2x squared in our original expression. So let's explore 6x cubed over 2x squared. We can see by substitution that this seems to be equal to 3x. But what happens if we substitute 0? in for x. We get an error. Division by 0. So 6x cubed over 2x squared does simplify to 3x as long as x is not equal to 0. So what does all of this have to do with scientific notation? Well, Let's store x as 10. So our original expression becomes 6 times 10 cubed divided by 2 times 10 squared. But if you arrived at this expression wanting to divide 6,000 by 200, our earlier explorations tell us that you need to put parentheses around the 2 times 10 squared. Otherwise, the order of operations will compute the exponents first, then multiplication and division from left to right, to arrive at 300,000, which is very different than dividing 6,000 by 200. The calculator is not selective about when to apply the order of operations, so it's perhaps even more important that you understand the order of operations when working with electronic devices. So, here are the options when working with scientific notation. Option 1. Use parentheses. Option 2. Use the vinculum and the two-dimensional editor in the TI30X Plus MathPrint calculator. Option 3. Use the digital syntax, the EE button. This syntax is specific to electronic devices such as spreadsheets, computer programs and calculators, where two-dimensional expressions are not always accessible or expedient. While the TI30X Plus MathPrint calculator has a two-dimensional editor, the EE button is an expedient means of writing things in scientific notation while avoiding excessive use of parentheses to control the order of operations. 
This representation can change from platform to platform, so you should always write your answers using the appropriate mathematical notation. That's all we have time for in this session. You can find out more about the use of scientific notation in our other videos. But for now, thanks for watching, and see you next time.